What's up guys, welcome back to the Box. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I customize this phone case using nothing but hot glue to create Vecna from Stranger Things. So if you wanna see how I did it and how you can make your own, Keep watching. So recently I went to the Dollar Tree and got these two phone cases. And out of the two, I think the black one's gonna be better for this project because I like the texture on here. It kind of looks like an old wooden floor that you would find at a haunted house. I don't know, we're just gonna use this one. And this was the image I found of Vecna that we're gonna be copying onto our phone case. You're gonna use some parchment paper or people call it wax paper, whichever. And you're gonna trace the outline of your phone case onto the paper and then line up your image of Vecna. Now you can freehand this or you can trace it, whichever is more convenient for you to make sure that it fits inside the frame of the phone case outline. I'm just going back in and putting in a few more details that I miss, mostly around his eyes and also some of the details of his chest and body. Once you have them traced, you wanna go in very slowly with your hot glue gun and start outlining and filling in your character. For me, it seems to be easier to go line by line, just making sure that each one of the rows touches each other. That way, when you're done, you'll have one solid foundation for your character. If you do miss a spot, you can always go back over it. Just try to do it while the glue is still hot. You'll notice that it'll all melt into each other. Here you can see me going side to side, just making sure that each one of the rows touches each other and it all forms into the base of the character. Now, after it's dry, you would be able to pull this off of your wax paper, but for me, that's not the case. As many of these as I've done, you'll think I'll actually one day put it on the right side, but no use crying over burnt waffles. So gonna take these handy dandy scissors and cut Vecna out. Then with some hot glue, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the phone case. This worked for me here, but I'd probably recommend you guys use some E6000 for the simple fact that some of these plastic phone cases can't take the heat and would probably melt. But this one seemed to hold up okay. You might also notice that the hot glue also distorted some of the details for my line work, but that was fine because I was still able to see enough to know exactly where I needed to build up Vecna's face. I started out by hollowing out his eyes, putting in what I think we believe to be his nose. I started to build up his cheekbone area, detailing his jawline, as well as creating his mouth. Now I'm not sure if this detail was actually just from the graphic or if it's something that's actually on Vecna, but I decided to go ahead and put in these ridges that I saw on his forehead just to give this area some more definition. And then I started tracing all the tentacle things that wrapped around him. Vecna's design reminds me a lot of how Carnage looks, which also made this easy because you didn't have to be too neat about it. Trying to draw out intricate details with a hot glue gun isn't always the easiest thing to do. After I had one side done, I'd continue using the hot glue gun to build up the details in his chest as well as around his neck. And also to clean up the edges a little bit, I went around it with some hot glue, also dripping a little bit off the side just to make it look like Vecna's really gripping this phone case. The next part is where my OCD really kicked in because Vecna has these weird tentacles attached to his back, which doesn't really have any kind of rhyme or reason, nor are they symmetrical. So I just tried to mimic what I saw in the image and created that on the phone case. Once all that was dry, it was time to get to my favorite part, which is painting. I'm using these pink and brown from the Liquitex brand. Also, I'll be using these three colors from Apple Barrel, and I'll be laying the base color down with this Americana Black. This is a pretty rigid brush, which was great because it helps me get into all the crevices created by the glue gun. This paint is pretty dense, which is what I like about it, so I only have to lay down one layer, thank God. Now the next part is where I really had to trust the process. The reference image showed Vecna had a lot of different colors going through the surface of his skin. So I wanted to do my best to try to mimic that on the phone case. As you can see right now, this brown and pink does not look like the best color combination. And I thought I had made a huge mistake. One thing I always hear, if you feel your painting is not looking right, add the eyes. Something about the eyes just really bring the painting together. 
Once I did that, it did start to look a little bit more like Vecna, but I still had a little bit more work to do. I went back and started adding some more of that pink paint, defining certain areas like his mouth with black and using this solid white to create highlights. He was looking a little too Pepto-Bismol, so I went back with some of that red paint and dry brushed all over certain areas to dull that pink down. And then to really make him stand out from the phone case, I dry brushed some white over his head and his shoulders. Now there's a few ways you can protect your art. There's this acrylic sealer, but today I'm gonna be using our good old friend Mod Podge. I only used one layer, but I did put on a very generous amount. This is gonna keep the acrylic paint from chipping and getting damaged. After the Mod Podge was dry, it was time to go ahead and put our phone into the case. And with that, we've created our own Vecna phone case. That's it. We have the phone case made of Vecna from Stranger Things. I actually think it turned out very, very well. And I've said this before, with anything you do, there's always room for improvement. A few areas that I would put some more attention on would definitely be his forehead area and around the jawline. When the hot glue was falling, it looked a little bit more defined than it actually is. But since this creature is kind of a jumbled up mess of slime and tentacles, I think it works for this. <laughs> but you guys let me know. What do you guys think about this new custom phone case? And what other characters would you like me to attempt on my next phone case using hot glue? If you want to see some more phone cases that I've customized with hot glue, check this video here or watch this whole playlist here. Oh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Ooh.